All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here in the Freedom Office, and I got some very exciting news. Man, I tell you what, this is one of the greatest things in the world is when a group of guys get together and they sue the shit out of the ATF and the Sixth District Court favors in their direction. It's kind of a opposite thing with happened with the uh, Ninth District Court with the Hawaii deal in the open carry. Uh, you know what? It's it's my deal is that if they won't let you conceal carry, you should be able to open carry at least to the point where you can protect yourself. But there's so many people out there that are questioning what you need and what why you need it. It's kind of like New Jersey. You have to prove that you have a need. It's kind of like Hawaii. You have to prove that there's a need for you to actually have a firearm on you. Where These courts have completely forgotten what this deal is. It's called the Second Amendment and shall not be infringed. <laughs> Sixth District Court. They did favor in uh, the direction of these guys. But before we get into that, I want to tell you about a little deal that's going on. If you follow my channel and if you know who the Crazy Scotsman is and also uh, Eric Balmy, e Balmy, <laughs> they are working hard to help with the 22 a day cure. I'm talking about suicide, veteran suicide. This is still a huge epidemic. And while the individuals over here are sitting there hollering about taking your rights away, we're losing veterans left and right, which really sucks. So uh, in the past, we've had this thing called Justin's Final Mission and uh, Justin Fitch. I'm getting emails left and right. It's crazy. So anyway, Justin Fitch was a uh, Army officer. And just bear with me. I'm going to put a GoFundMe link down below. I'm also going to put a link to uh, the Crazy Scotsman. Uh, so you can get over there and take a look at that. But what they're trying to do is raise money to continue with the 22 a day, Justin Fitch and Justin's final mission in, in a different direction than what they were doing in the past. They were working with an organization that kind of decided to steer off in a different direction. But they want to continue the fight. They want to continue to help veterans uh, to eliminate the 22 a day. So uh, in an effort to help with that, if you guys have ever seen one of the rifles that was sitting behind me, that is the Live Free Armory 6.5 Creedmoor with the Hitman Industries barrel. I am donating that to the cause. And we'll be holding a raffle and uh, we'll get more into the details of that because, of course, I've got to shoot the thing and we've got to see how accurate it is. And hopefully it is accurate. I'm hoping it is. But I'm going to donate that to the cause. We're going to do a raffle. We're going to do a start date, a finish date, and a drawing. And I'm going to let Crazy Scotsman handle that. I don't want to be a part of it, but uh, what will happen is, is we'll go ahead and uh, I will ship it through FFL and have that delivered to whoever the winner is. So it's my honor and it's my privilege to help <laughs> with this organization and this cause. It brings a tear to my eye. All right, so let's talk about why we're here. This is the 6th District Court. And guys, to start off with, I just want to make it clear, I am wearing my GOA shirt today. Love these guys. It's a right, not a privilege. Hell yes. So this was uh, this came out on uh, the 25th of March, and I saw it through a couple different publications, but this one was written by Jordan Stein, uh, the Gunners, Gun Owners of America, and I'm just going to run over it. The court rules a bump stock is not a machine gun. You know how important this is? This is, this is extremely important because you have like trigger systems, like the rare breed trigger system, that you know it's just a matter of time. Uh, if anything mimics, what they're saying is if it can mimic a machine gun, they have to, re to redo the whole ruling about one trigger pull because it's a semi-automatic. It's not a machine gun where you pull the trigger and hold it and multiple rounds go off during the time that you have the trigger depressed and stops when you release the trigger. That is called full automatic. That's a machine gun. I'm in the belief that we should all be able to own machine guns, but... In the meantime, they put a ban on these damn bump stocks. And, when the, and the horrible thing about that is that several companies went bankrupt. People's law, people lost their dreams. I, it's horrible that people have taken these things and they've done evil things with them. But you're going to have that with anything out there. It's like, why do we allow cars to go more than 55 or 65 or 70 year, miles per hour? It's because they, we do. And it's up to you as an individual to maintain a safe speed as it well as it is us as responsible gun owners that we don't go out and do crazy things and stupid things with our firearms. Again, I really appreciate everyone uh, talking about uh, why I need a semi-automatic firearm. That was really cool. 
But I want you guys to leave me comments about what your thoughts are on this thing. Springfield, Virginia, today the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 6th District Court reversed the district court's decision, which had denied GOA's motion for preliminary injunction on bump stocks. Gun Arms America is seeking an injunction to prevent ATF from implementing a final rule incorrectly classifying bump stocks as machine guns under federal law. All right, so the case was brought up by the GOA, Gun Owners Foundation, the Citizens uh, Virginia Citizens Defense League, Matt Watkins, Tim Harmson of the Military Arms Channel. Now, I'll tell you what. You want to talk about people getting shitting or getting off the pot? These guys did it. And GOA's Texas director, Rachel Malone. Today's court decision is great news and told gun owners what they already knew, uh, said Eric Pratt. We are glad the court applied the statute accurately and struck down ATF's illegal overreach and infringement of gun owners' rights. This is huge. Absolutely tremendous. And again, this is where the people are like, well, why can't, why do you need this? Well, I go, you know what? You're right. Why do we need that? And the next thing you know, well, why do you need this? You see where we're going? Give them an inch. They're going to take a mile. And every inch for them is a victory against us as legal gun owners, us in America. This is why I donate the GOA. Hell, if Tim Harmson... I know he's doing pretty good on his Patreon, man. I hear him all the time. <laughs> but I love that guy. Um, but you know what? And uh, this is absolutely, absolutely huge. So congratulations to the guys over there at GOA and the rest of the team for uh, moving us in the right direction. No compromise. And that's, that's the motto, as it should be. The Second Amendment <laughs> protects the First Amendment. And is now you see the First Amendment is being taken away from us because people are just getting hurt. It just upsets me. Grow a set of balls. Get some chest hair. Shut up. It's Kettle Boy 32. Let me know what your thoughts are down below about this thing. Kudos to those guys. Don't forget, take a look at that uh, crazy Scotsman. And uh, when the time comes, uh, after I get this thing test run, I'm going on vacation next week. We're going to take it up and uh, bring it out from uh, 100 yards, and the next shot's going to be out to 1,000. It's going to be pretty interesting, but it's a beautiful rifle, and uh, I hope you guys are ready to participate. So let's raise some money for 22 a day. So Boy 32 if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution. And our Constitution is here to restrict the government. You've got this idiot, the idiot, the other idiot, and another idiot. And they think that they are in charge of our lives. High taxes, taking away our Second Amendment, and open borders. <laughs> Socialism. That's what they're about. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Peace. Boom.